We're starting off here in the Virginia This Morning kitchen. For the past eight years, Dillard's has donated the proceeds from a special edition of the Southern Living Christmas Cookbook to the Ronald McDonald House Charities here in the Richmond area. Carrie Bloomberg from the Ronald McDonald Charities here in Richmond is here along with Daniel Feisty from Dillard's to tell us more about that partnership and share a recipe or two from this year's cookbook. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for Good. having us. You're very welcome. It's very special that you have this partnership. How did this come about? Well, it's been a partnership at a global level for nine years, nine years. now, mm -hmm. and we are so grateful for that partnership to bring two, or really three high quality brands, Ronald McDonald House Charities, Dillard's, and Southern Living all together to benefit a great cause to help keep families close. That's wonderful. And every year you do this cookbook, this special cookbook. Tell us about that. The, the cookbook is very special to us. Um, we have uh, two editions of it. Um, there's the Christmas edition as well as year-round decorating ideas and uh, different recipes in there. Um, we sell the cookbook at uh, Dillard's locations um, for $10 and all the proceeds of the book go to our local Ronald McDonald House here in Richmond, Virginia. And as you mentioned, the two editions, this is the Christmas side, and then flip it over, voila. Yeah. Voila. It's magic. <laughs> it, is, it is like Christmas magic here. Two gifts here. in one. Two gifts in one. And again, why did Dillers decide Ronald McDonald House Charities was so special to be able to be a, a recipient? It's, a, it's been a long-term partnership that we've, that we've had, and um, Dillers believes in giving back to our communities and uh, Ronald McDonald was the one that our corporate um, office chose and we're, we're very excited that we get to carry that tradition on. And one of those things we're gonna do is go between the pages today. You've got yep. some recipes. In, in looking through the pages, how did you decide what you wanted to make for us today? Well, I always try to find something that's gonna make your table pop with a lot of color, mm -hmm. and then also find something that maybe is a little bit different, but a good twist on a traditional favorite. And I know in my family, we have some folks who come to holiday celebrations who maybe don't eat their traditional ham or turkey because they're vegetarian. Mm -hmm. So I chose a dish today that is a pear and pumpkin tart, so it will be a great, beautiful addition to your table and maybe fill in some of those pockets for people who aren't going to eat the traditional foods that That's we're That's a wonderful idea, and you can find all kinds of recipes in the book, I'm sure, that can meet that. Yeah, they're beautiful pictures, and that really helps give me confidence. I'm a home cook, just to be able to take the leap. For example, this recipe called to use a pie pumpkin, mm -hmm. and I have never cooked using a whole pumpkin before, <laughs> but it was really easy. Yesterday I had my eight-year-old son, and we just cut the um, top and bottom off of this, scooped out the middle, and then peeled it so that we could toss it, chop it up to make this tart, and it was really simple. Nice and simple. All right, well, show us how simple it is. You can put us to work if you'd okay, like. Okay, so what I'm going to have Daniel do is kind of score the edges of this puff right. pastry, and if I Cheryl, I can get you to put the pumpkin and pear that's cut up into this little bowl. Okay, then I'm going to have that to cross would be great. you here. Yep, please do. I'm and my sorry hands about are that. clean. That's okay. And this is a really easy... This is a beautiful pear. I used a red pear here. Uh, yep, yeah, just a, a bossed pear mm -hmm. and a pie pumpkin. And then just take that, pour a little bit of olive oil. All of this or just a little uh, bit? Maybe just a little bit, okay. just to drizzle. And then we'll use our salt and pepper grinder over. I love grinders. Yeah. Because you get more of the flavor, I think, you this sure way. You sure do. The fresh flavor. All right, now if you just want to gently fold those together, and Daniel, are you done with your crust? If you put that you right your in front part? of Cheryl. <laughs> yes, ma'am, I did. Now this is where it gets really complicated, okay. so pay attention. All right. Dump the bowl on top of the puff paste. <laughs> the hard part. Dump I know. This the is bowl. how easy it is, and then just kind of spread it out within. Daniel made a rectangle in he there did. without. Mm -hmm cutting all the way through the puff pastry, and if we just pour it out, you can use your them. fingers if okay. you want to. Um, that's going to help make our crust. Oh, it's okay when it puffs up around yeah. the edges, and we want to kind of mix the apples and the squash or pumpkin together. Okay. All right, and then if you want to just sprinkle a little bit of blue cheese on there as oh, well. Yeah. This gives it a little bit of a savory feeling too, and mm -hmm. we'll save some of that for the end too. Okay. All right, that's great. And then all we're going to do is pop this in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes. And then it will come out looking beautiful. And Daniel, can you grab the one that we've had cooking? In the magic oven. Yeah, <laughs> in our magic oven. And I think what's so great about um, this cookbook and Ronald McDonald House is food is such a big part of how we help serve our families when they're in crisis, when their children are in the hospital. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we have volunteers who come to the house every night and cook dinner for them, and it just really helps relieve the burden. So you can see this is finished and how the crust where we cut the rectangle really puffs up and makes be a beautiful kind of centerpiece. So what we're gonna do now is just put a little bit of green salad on top. So I'm gonna have you pour in ingredients again, some okay. pomegranates. Oh, nice and healthy. Yeah, a superfood, right? Yes. Yeah. A little more blue cheese. Okay. And a little red wine vinegar. Just a little dressing there. Yeah. Oops. Making a mess. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> we'll clean up later. That's right. And then if you just kind of want to toss that around a little bit, and then you can really scoop it right on top of our pear and pumpkin part. I mean, I think this is so easy, very few ingredients, mm -hmm. um, and it just brings magnificent color. It is beautiful. To, to, and with the, the greens and the pomegranates, it's like Christmas. It is like <laughs> Christmas. That's perfect. You did a great job. And look at that. Just a couple of minutes and we had that all done. And I was even thinking on the way here, you can cut it into different shapes. It could be a side dish, an appetizer. Or wouldn't this be a fun way to serve your salad on Christmas? Oh, to absolutely. just have this be your salad and have that on the salad plate. I think and it would be would really say, oh, fun. I, I eat salad. <laughs> yeah. Get the kids to eat that, definitely. You've yeah. got absolutely. some other samples of things here as well from the book. That's right. So. Um, again, we've prepped some different things, looking to add color and some fun, trying to get everyone. I saw a whole bunch of internet memes on Facebook and Pinterest the other day that talked about children who only eat rolls at Thanksgiving, and it made me think, of what can we do that would make something fun for the Christmas celebration? And these are chicken waffle cheddar bacon sandwiches. Mm. And so I think if you had that out at a party, I know my son would be wanting to go that way also. Absolutely. And we also have, this is an herb crostini. And it's a little different. It's made with cornmeal and fresh herbs and giving a different take on the cracker with filet, mango onion relish, and cilantro sauce. And my son helped me make these yesterday. These are chocolate dipped graham crackers with crushed candy cane. Oh. So when you cook, you can bring your family close together, just like we try to do at Ronald McDonald House Charities, is we want to make sure families can stay together in one of the most difficult times of their life. It's a wonderful thing that you do. And Daniel, you've got a special price on this book, as you do every year for people. That is correct, yes. It is only $10. Um, it is a magnificent gift. Um, for teachers, hostess gifts, um, anybody that um, you're looking to to give a little something extra to, um, and again, the the best part of the cookbook is that every pro, all the proceeds go to the Ronald McDonald House here, and that we're able to give back in our community. So for ten dollars, you're not going to find a better gift. That's right, a gift for yourself and a gift maybe for someone else. Absolutely. Thank you so much, both of you, for coming in today. Thanks for having us. You're Thank very you. welcome. Nice old cooking lesson this morning as well. The Southern Living Christmas Cookbook is available now at Dillard's, and again, that special price only ten dollars.